Let's play Would You Rather. Ready? Okay, let's go. Would you rather be rich and miserable or homeless and happy? Would you rather be safe or be free? Would you rather secure a check for one trillion or secure a business for life? Would you rather secure 50K for yourself or let your best friend secure 500K for themselves? Okay, so... I just want to start off by saying, you know, thank you for everyone that participated in this uh, little uh, game that I had yesterday (laughs) and the conversations that I had as a result. Obviously, you know, I don't do nothing unless I have a little meaning behind it and stuff, unless it's a joke. And these weren't really jokes per se. I just want to let y'all know that this is going to be a long video. So, you know, if you don't have the time or whatever... Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, so let's let's go through these real quick. The first one says, would you rather be rich and miserable or homeless and happy? Now, this one is connected to the second one, but let me show you the way most people would see it. Some people might try to be uh, a little creative and mix up the options, just like how they do in real life. They try to be uh, they, they, they would say, oh, I, I'd rather be rich and happy. And I'm like, well, no, that's that's not an option. You know, a lot of people claim to have free will, but they don't want they they still choose an option that was already predestined, predetermined for them. But when things like this come about, things that are actually fake, they decide to make it even more fake by switching it around like like you can do that anywhere else. I don't understand. Maybe maybe it's a game thing. But what most people would say, well, they, they, they'd rather be homeless and happy. And a few people would say they'd rather be rich. But they didn't say rich and miserable. They just said rich. Because no one wants to be miserable. Yet no one is miserable right now. Which means maybe you can get a little bit of the fortune without the misery. Right? But they didn't really look at the second option. Which is, you know, being homeless and happy. Some people might say, oh, I, I, I can't see myself being homeless and happy at the same time. But what they don't realize is especially a lot of uh, the celebrity success story where they would say, oh, I was homeless for three weeks or I was homeless for two years and I was staying on my best friend's couch. Wait a minute. So you had a place to stay, but you was homeless at the same time. No one asks that question because everyone assumes that homeless means houseless or shelterless or, you know, a lack of safety. And you know, uh, shelter. So they associate homelessness with being, you know, on the street and all that stuff. And they completely forget that, you know, you have some air quote, homeless people begging for money on the streets and stuff, but they still living in a house that's better than yours and making more money than you. Cause that's their job. I'm sure, you know, one or two people, you know, exist in the world like that. So obviously this one was a trick question. Let's move on. So the next one is, would you rather be safe or be free? Now, automatically out the gate, everyone who picked safe, they said, well, freedom ain't always free. Yeah, well, homeless ain't always homeless. So how is it that you can apply certain rules to one category of the game, but then completely forget about it in another? That connects to the third question. But before we get to it, I just want to say, well what is safe you know if someone asks me that i'm like well what do you mean by safe because to be honest i don't think i've ever been safe a day in my life that i've been that i've been living on this planet now a lot of times i probably felt safe but everywhere i went there was something dangerous something bad that happened to someone else including myself at one point or the other which means i was never really safe so what is safe now free 
we could talk about free. I've experienced safe 100%. So I would choose free simply because I know what safe is and I know that it's not always that safe. So maybe free would be better. But that's just my silly way of thinking. Also, if free is really free, I would much rather be free because I probably got to pay for the safety and I'm not just talking about money. I ain't even mean to make that rhyme. Let's move on. Would you rather secure a check for one trillion or secure a business for life? Now, most people off straight out the gate, off the bat, they would say, oh, I'd rather take the trillion. So then I ask, well, how much how much do you think you spent on literally everything in your entire life so far? Some people say thousands, some people say millions. And I'm like, OK. And if you had a business from the time you was born or around the same time that you started spending money. How much do you think you would have spent up until this point now? And automatically that that sum of money skyrockets. I said, oh, I would have been spending way more if I had a business. And that makes sense because if you had a business, that means you had something or someone somewhere creating revenue for you to continue to spend. A lot of people get bank statements and they think, well, I wish I had that money in my bank right now. They don't calculate how much money you have in your bank at one point. They calculate how much uh, traffic that you had in your bank account over the past month or the past year or however you do your bank statements, which therefore means that in order to spend a certain amount and continuous, continuously be able to spend that amount, you would have to be continuously earning that amount. It's just like one of my previous posts on Instagram where I said, well, in order to to have more, you have to make more. So just like when you make more money, you have more money. And, you know, that would mean then that you would have to make more sense in order to have more sense. <laughs> but that's a whole different message altogether. So it would make sense if you really want to spend that trillion and spend it more than once to go for the second option, which is to secure a business. But, you know, people people think the way that they think for different reasons. Let's move on. Would you secure 50K for yourself? Or would you let your best friend secure 500K for themselves? Now, surprisingly, majority of people said, well, I would, I would, I would rather let my friend get that 50k now what most people don't realize is that i didn't put a unit currency on these numbers so this could be that maybe it's fake money <laughs> or maybe it's just and this is the truth it's just that i have people in the western side <laughs> on the western hemisphere you know in america and in the caribbean who use dollars and i have people in the uk who use pounds. So it would make sense to not put a currency there and not put specific currencies, just in case anyone wanted to use it in different countries. That's why I didn't put a currency. But in order to truly be uh, rich or wealthy even, in order to have estates and businesses, investments, assets, all of the stuff, in order to truly be what everyone claims that they want to be, you, you can't do it alone. You, you can't. It, 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 they say, you know, it's lonely at the top. The reason why it's lonely at the top is because, firstly, most people don't want their friends to win. They rather let themselves win. And simply because the money is more for them, for their best friend to have than if they was to get it themselves, then they say, all right, well, I'll let my friend get the win, you know, and then they automatically put on something extra to make themselves feel better about it. They say something like, oh, well, you know, if my if my best friend get 500, maybe we could split it. Or at least I know that they 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 are good. So I don't have to worry about them. And it's it's not about you. It's either them or you, which is why I, I said in caps themselves. So, you know, if you were to look back through all of these questions, you would realize that they are connected. You know, 
If you were homeless and happy, you could also be free. And if you are free, you could secure a business for life, for free. And then it would make no difference whether or not your best friend is well struggling or not. So if you had the option to get a 50K for yourself or get 500K for them, you, would, you wouldn't spend any time on choosing that second option to say, yeah, I, I better let them get that 500K. So, you know, just look at it. Life, you know, life always gives you certain options every now and again. And life says, hey, let's play Would You Rather. And I urge you, between this last post, this one, and the next one that I probably will make, don't always look at the surface. You know, really, really look into things, especially if this decision will affect your future and not just right now. So always ask yourself, you know, would you rather A or B? <laughs> I'm Benson Williams. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.